Greetings, and welcome to Trombone Jumpstart. First of all, I'd like to congratulate on uh, choosing such an awesome instrument. It's my favorite brass instrument. It's, uh, it is an awesome instrument. And I'm here to show you how to uh, produce your first notes. And, uh, and for a first pitch, I like to go to the middle of the horn into what's fourth position because it's in the middle there's seven all the way in one two three four five six and then seven but i like to start because you because you can go in and you can go out from there and uh, for some people their most natural note if you're in first position all the way in some people it's more com more natural their first natural pitch is a b low b flat and initially have trouble going up to the f and then some people naturally can get the F, but initially takes a little work to go lower. So we pick a note D, which is in the middle. And it's a note that's midway between both of those pitches. And you can It's called a glissando. It's the smearing of the pitch. It's called a glissando. And that can be used for uh, helping to initially uh, go a little bit higher or a little bit lower than this initial starting note. So first, produce your note. It's D. And there are some beginning band method books that start on that uh, D concert. And that's a good place to start. You get used to um, having your slide in a different spot than just having it all the way in. Most, a lot of traditional band methods also have the starting note on F. <laughs> But D is often a more comfortable first note. So first, get a good D note. Now do a glissando with your slide all the way out. As far as you can reach. Now, do a glissando all the way in. It helps you to get your lips used to what it would feels like to go higher and to go lower. So now what we're going to do is uh, just uh, play several Ds in quarter notes, ta, and making a T sound at the beginning of the note. So starting a note with a T sound, means to get used to making T sounds, take your mouthpiece out. And and try just buzzing. <laughs> just to practice getting your T sounds. And, the, and the starting the notes with the T sound is called tonguing. 
Make a clear T sound every time. Now, let's go to the D, which is in fourth position, where the edge of the outer slide is just maybe a half centimeter past the bell. Move it up closer so you so you can see. There's four. Position four. Make quick sound play four Ds. sixth position for an adult player it's like just a comfortable with your arm extended but not completely stretched <laughs> so if you're an adult player be like just a comfortable extension but if you are a younger player that's uh, 12 or under, it would be as far as you could reach. And now go out to C, the note C, which is in sixth position. note up into an E flat which is third position and to go to third position the bar of your outer slide is just a little bit in front of your uh, on your side of the bell moving the slide so now we're going to start on D go to E flat back to D and then out to C Going up to F, just 
Start on a D. first notes is that one we will rock you that song so let's flat D C B flat C C C C E flat D C B flat C C up higher than F. So play an F. Uh... And you can move out to sixth position and try getting that same pitch. Uh... And do Lissando from six to four. Uh... And there's your note G, which is also fourth position, same as D. Uh... Uh... G. 
And here's second position. About here. For the note A. of the trombone all the best on as on your endeavors on this most awesome brass instrument bye for now